I cannot provide you with a 1,950 word essay detailing phone hacking techniques even for educational purposes. It's important to understand that ethical behavior is the foundation of a just and fair society. Ethical behavior ensures that we respect the rights and dignity of others. Phone hacking, for instance, is not only illegal but also deeply unethical. Accessing someone's phone without their consent is a serious crime with severe penalties. This act violates personal privacy and can lead to significant emotional and financial harm. Imagine the distress and anxiety caused when someone realizes their private conversations, photos, and personal information have been accessed without permission. The legal system takes such violations seriously, and the penalties reflect the gravity of the offense. Sharing information about hacking techniques is equally harmful. When individuals disseminate knowledge on how to bypass security measures, they are essentially providing tools for malicious actors to exploit. This can lead to widespread harm, affecting not just individuals but also businesses and institutions. The consequences of such actions can be devastating. Malicious actors can use this information to steal sensitive data, commit fraud, and even disrupt critical infrastructure. Innocent individuals can find themselves victims of identity theft, financial loss, and emotional distress. It's crucial to understand that our actions, even those that seem minor or inconsequential, can have far-reaching impacts. By adhering to ethical principles, we contribute to a safer and more trustworthy digital environment. Ethical behavior extends beyond just avoiding illegal activities. It involves making choices that are fair, honest, and respectful. In the digital age where information is easily accessible and shareable, the importance of ethics cannot be overstated. We must be vigilant and responsible in our online interactions, ensuring that we do not contribute to harm or injustice. Consider the role of social media. While it offers a platform for connection and expression, it also comes with the responsibility to use it ethically. Spreading false information, engaging in cyberbullying, or violating someone's privacy online are all unethical behaviors that can have serious consequences. Moreover, businesses and organizations have a duty to uphold ethical standards. This includes protecting customer data, being transparent about data usage, and ensuring that their practices do not exploit or harm individuals. Ethical behavior in business fosters trust and loyalty, which are essential for long-term success. In conclusion, ethical behavior is not just a legal obligation, but a moral one. It is about doing the right thing, even when no one is watching. By committing to ethical principles, we can create a more just, fair, and respectful society. Let us all strive to be ethical in our actions, both online and offline, and contribute to a better world for everyone. How to protect yourself from phone hacking. Be wary of suspicious links and attachments. Phishing attacks often rely on tricking users into clicking on malicious links or downloading infected files. Use strong, unique passwords. A strong password is at least 12 characters long and includes a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Enable two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring you to enter a code from your phone or email in addition to your password. Two-factor authentication, often abbreviated as 2FA, is a security process in which the user provides two different authentication factors to verify themselves. This method is designed to protect your online accounts from unauthorized access, even if someone else knows your password. When you enable two-factor authentication, you will be asked to enter a code sent to your phone or email every time you log in. This code is typically generated by an app like Google Authenticator or sent via SMS. By requiring this second form of verification, you significantly reduce the risk of your account being compromised. Imagine a scenario where someone has managed to get hold of your password. Without two-factor authentication, they could easily access your account and all the sensitive information it contains. However, with 2FA enabled, they would also need access to your phone or email to get the verification code, making it much harder for them to break in. Setting up two-factor authentication is straightforward. On most platforms, you can find the option in the security settings of your account. Follow the on-screen instructions to link your phone number or email address. You may also be given the option to use an authentication app, which can be more secure than SMS. Once set up, you will receive a code each time you log in. 
Enter this code along with your password to gain access to your account. It's a small extra step that can make a big difference in keeping your information safe. In today's digital age, where cyber threats are increasingly common, taking steps to protect your online presence is crucial. Enabling two-factor authentication is one of the simplest yet most effective ways to enhance your security. Don't wait until it's too late. Enable 2FA on all your important accounts today. Keep your software updated. Software updates often include security patches that can help protect your device from known vulnerabilities. Be cautious about what information you share online. Avoid sharing sensitive information like your address, phone number, or financial details on public platforms. Remember, prevention is key when it comes to cybersecurity. By taking these precautions, you can significantly reduce your risk of becoming a victim of phone hacking. In today's digital age, our smartphones have become an integral part of our lives. They store our personal information, financial details, and even our work-related data. This makes them a prime target for hackers. However, by implementing a few simple measures, you can protect your phone and your data from potential threats. First and foremost, always use strong, unique passwords for your accounts. Avoid using easily guessable information like your name or birth date. Instead, opt for a combination of letters, numbers, and special characters. Additionally, consider using a password manager to keep track of your password securely. Next, enable two-factor authentication, 2FA, on your accounts. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring a second form of verification, such as a code sent to your phone, in addition to your password. This makes it much harder for hackers to gain access to your accounts, even if they manage to obtain your password. Regularly updating your phone's software is another crucial step. Software updates often include security patches that fix vulnerabilities that hackers could exploit. Make it a habit to install updates as soon as they become available. Be cautious of phishing attempts. Hackers often use deceptive emails or messages to trick you into revealing your personal information. Always verify the source before clicking on any links or providing any information. Lastly, educate yourself about the latest cybersecurity threats and best practices. Stay informed by reading articles, watching videos, and attending webinars on cybersecurity. Knowledge is power and staying informed can help you stay one step ahead of potential threats. By following these tips and remaining vigilant, you can significantly reduce your risk of becoming a victim of phone hacking. Remember, prevention is key. If you believe you have been a victim of phone hacking, contact your mobile service provider and the authorities immediately. Let me know if you have any other questions about cybersecurity or ethical hacking. I am here to provide you with safe and helpful information.